So you want to unlock the Ripple Perk as fast as possible, then you've come to the right place. If you aren't familiar with the Ripple Perk, it's one of the new specializations that released with the Turning Tides DLC. These specializations, unlike the weapon unlock assignments, are available to every player, even if you do not purchase the DLC. These specializations can really improve your game by giving you special enhanced abilities to use in battle. The Ripple Perk we will discuss in this video gives a bonus whenever users kill enemies with headshots, by single action rifles. The next enemy or group of enemies the user has spotted will be highlighted red and much more easily visible. This specialization is unlocked by completing the Overwatch assignment. There are six tasks in the Overwatch assignment, but you only need to complete five in order to unlock this perk. The six assignments are, in a round perform 2000 soldier damage as a scout, perform 400 vehicle damage using K bullets, have 15 decoys destroyed, as a scout, perform 300 spot flare assists, perform 10 kills on enemies and boats using single action rifles, and perform 25 kills as a tank hunter elite. Since you want to complete this unlock assignment as fast as possible, you're going to want to complete the 5 quickest tasks. This means you want to completely ignore that one pesky 400k bullet vehicle damage assignment. K bullets are way too weak and with only a handful of them at your disposal, getting 400k bullet damage is way too time consuming. As far as securing 2000 soldier damage as a scout in one round, this can be achieved easily by securing scout kills. Every killed enemy on average should net you 100 points of damage. I highly recommend playing a longer game mode such as operations, thereby giving you a greater time to secure those 2000 soldier damage points in one round. Stay away from shorter game modes like Team Deathmatch or Domination since these modes will restrict your time to reach 2000. The next task required, that's have 15 decoys destroyed, can easily be taken care of on the same operations match while you reach 2000 damage. Decoys, if you aren't familiar, are those fake heads on top of poles that give off sniper glint when enemies look at them. If enemies shoot the decoys, they are spotted for a short period of time to show the enemy's location. Players can deploy up to 3 decoys at a time, and I highly recommend trying your best to hide the pole holding the decoy to give a better chance of unobservant enemies destroying said decoy. You can hide the pole by changing your stance when placing the decoy down. Place the decoys behind objects like walls or barriers and change your stance, whether crouched or prone or standing, according to the height you want the decoy to be deployed at. You will be amazed at how unobservant enemy players quickly target and destroy those decoys. Since you want to secure the ripple perk as fast as possible, you can also secure the next task at the same time as you do the decoys. The next task requires 300 spot flare assists as a scout. Playing on the same operations match equips spot flares along with those decoys. Fire the spot flares into the direction of enemies. The spot flares will show enemy positions on teammates minimaps and each spotted enemy eliminated by your teammates will give you one spot assist. The operations mode works very well for securing those spot assists quickly due to the fact that there are up to 32 enemy players with the potential to be spotted. And in addition, whether attacking or defending, it's pretty easy to determine the location of enemy troops. If you could join a squad with support, do so and continue to pop flares and request ammunition to keep the flares flying. The next task, perform 10 kills on enemies in boats using single action rifles, might seem very difficult to those who are not skilled snipers, but even mediocre snipers can take out those boat occupants if you follow these tips. For those unable to accurately track the enemy boats when they're moving, I highly recommend playing on the map all beyond. There, if you wait at enemy capture points, there are usually unoccupied boats awaiting enemies that spawn in. There is about 2 seconds of time that the boat takes to start up before moving. If you listen to the boat's engines warm up to start, you have time to snipe enemy boat drivers before they even leave the dock. For those who do not have access to Albion, I recommend the map FAO Fortress. Wait for boats to either slow or stop moving and start firing away at the occupants. In my opinion, it's sometimes best to take out the driver to leave the rest of those on the boats immobile and ready to be picked off. The final task and most fun I have with this assignment is the requirement to perform 25 kills as the tank hunter elite. The first task is to find the Tank Hunter Elite Kit. You can find the Tank Hunter Elite Kit in crates on certain maps, and I will list three of the maps to help you find it momentarily. Although its main purpose is to, as its name suggests, take out tanks with its powerful main weapon, the Tank of Air M1918, the cool thing about this primary weapon is it can one-hit kill any infantry no matter the distance. Whether you're taking out vehicles, planes, or infantry, the 25 kills should stack up in no time. 
There are several maps where you can find the Tank Hunter Elite, three conquest mode maps that are fairly easy to find populated on a server browse are Sinai Desert, St. Quentin Scar, and Albion. On Sinai Desert, the Tank Hunter Kit can be located at Flag G as in Golf, and if you head straight there at a round start, you should be able to nab it pretty quickly. On Albion, it can be located at either Flag F as in Foxtrot, behind a building near the water's edge, or at Flag B as in Bravo, behind a building towards the back of the map. On the map, St. Quentin Scar can be found inside the Demolished Cathedral at Flag B as in Bravo, or just outside a building at Flag E as in Echo. I hope these tips help you unlock the ripple perk as fast as possible. If this video helps you out, please hit that like button because it helps me out. Share this video with your friends who might be struggling to unlock this new enhancement to the Scout class. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any new content, epic tips, streams, or gameplay I have for you guys. It's your boy Rumpspanker, and until next time, I'm out of here.